Welcome back guys, Banshee Project. Going from this, crappy looking pipes, cheesy stock heel guards, to this. I know my garage is a mess, gotta finish building the house. But uh, I don't have any kind of stand, so it's gonna be a couple part video. But uh, I'm gonna start with taking off these stock heel guards bolts here, here, and over here. Uh, that's going to come off first. I'm not a big fan of the heel guards. So uh, we'll do that. And then we're also going to remove... Hard to see without some light here. Man, look how rusty that pipe looks. Right there, there's a bolt on the other side that holds the... Uh, actually, that's the hook where the spring is. It's not there. Spring, it's supposed to go from here to that other little bracket. So we're going to take that bolt out from the other side because uh, these motorsport products have a kind of weird mounting system. And uh, I did the other side already, like you saw, but I'll show you some things I like, some things I don't like. But uh, all right, let's start with uh, removing the heel guard. All right, so I got those bolts out. I also took the liberty of taking the pipes off. Uh, just to make it a little easier on myself. So when it comes to the pipes, here's what we got. Alright. Take the old hose clamp and the, uh, this is all garbage, you know. Uh, and I take, now mine are not like FMF fatties. If you look, like they look really bad. So mine are not FMF fatties, something with a, uh, I'm assuming it's nickel plating or, you know, something like that, because it's not chrome. But uh, mine are not that. Mine are stainless steel pro circuits. So, all right. So we're going to take this bolt out. The one that is, basically exposes the other end of that hole so we can get at it. We're going to take that out. And then in with your... Motorsport products, there's one short bolt that you're replacing it with. This allows the threads to be accessed from this side. All right, so your next step is going to be take your Motorsport products Nerf bar. Now, they say to use their uh, bolts that use, you know, that uh, to replace the ones in the foot peg. I do not like the bolts that they send. The bolts that they send are kind of a universal. And if you look at the thickness difference, this factory one was significantly thicker. So I'm gonna utilize that. Now the instructions say to take a pair of vice grips and uh, clamp this on here. You could use many different methods. You could use a, like one of the quick clamps. You'd use a pair of vice grips. Uh, or you could struggle with it like I'm about to do uh, and try to do this while I'm holding a phone all at the same time. Uh, I did the other side already and uh, it was definitely a slight bit of a struggle uh, getting it all to line up and get the nuts on by yourself. See, so you like that, dropping them. Maybe a second, I'm probably going to drop the other one. So I'm going to tighten this up, get it hand tight uh, so it'll still move, and then I'll restart the video. So now that I've got those hand tight, I took an Allen wrench, loosened up the bolts on the bottom of this. So the way this is going to work is you're going to utilize the thicker and longest of the bolts that come with your Motorsport Products uh, instruction packet. Uh, and then this is going to slip over the end. And then this bolt is, and actually on this side, it kind of doesn't line up the greatest. But uh, that bolt is going to go into that hole. And you can see it doesn't really line up. So that one was a 12 millimeter from the back. I'm going to take this one off right here. This is a 10. Uh, I'm going to take that off and then just bolt it back on when I'm done. Let's see how that works out. All right, so for a recap, I removed that 10 millimeter that held that in there. 
I'm gonna put this in here and get it started by hand. Something I should note is that I took a uh, blowgun and just you know ran some air in there. But uh, what I did when I did the other side was I took this and it's funny because the, these two sides aren't exactly the same. The other side I took it and moved it as low as I could get it, figuring when you step on it you're gonna push it down. Uh, but on this side, it's actually going to be up ever so slightly. But uh, let me get that tight in there, and we'll see how that bracket bolts back up. All right, so I did bolt it up. And I did it pretty tight. I was scared of stripping it out because, honestly, it only goes halfway into that threaded piece that comes out by the exhaust port. Uh, then I took the Allen key and tightened it up from the bottom. Uh, instructions do recommend utilizing Loctite. I didn't put Loctite in because I intend on taking these back off. I'll show you why later on. Uh, now, to see if this actually fits on here. Now, before, you couldn't fit the bracket in because it was hitting the fender support. But now, you'll see that it does actually line up. So, it's just the installation of it as you're doing it. Uh, you know, it makes it a little difficult when it's uh, the fender strut or fender support, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, is in place. I'll get this hand tight and then I'll grab my air ratchet and cinch this in quick. So it's mounted. What I dislike, and I understand after talking to the guy who designed them, there's no tube that connects these two. So what I'm accustomed to seeing is a tube that connects from right here to the other side with two U bolts that would hook to the frame. Now, the reason why is because if you have certain pipes, that it's not going to work. Now, you obviously see on these pipes, this would work. You know, this lines up pretty good. These are pro circuits. Now, maybe you have Paul Turner or something that's different shape. Maybe the stock ones. I don't know. It's been 20 years since I looked at stock ones. So, these are plenty strong standing on this part. But when you stand on this part, they definitely move. You see, I know I'm wearing socks. See how it moves. That's no good in my book. Uh, I wish I would have realized that. I may have looked into a different brand if I knew that that was going to be like that. But uh, I'm used to things not being engineered the way I would necessarily do it. So not knocking the engineer. Obviously, they're trying to make a product that is universal and works for many different people. But uh, I think it would hold up just fine. But for me, I'm looking to uh, just add to the stability. So what I'm going to end up doing is I will get a pipe that fits inside those. And you can, if you look, it goes a good 12 inches. You know, I'll probably get like, uh, and there's about 10 inches between them. I'll probably get like a 30-inch piece, run it 10 inches into one, 10 inches into the other. And, uh, and then just U-bolt it down. But uh, let me put this pipe on, see how it turned out. Now, I wouldn't necessarily have taken the wire wheel to your pro circuits. These are, or to your uh, FMF fatties, because they're nickel plated. These are pro circuits. Uh, these pro circuit platinum series, uh, these are supposed to be stainless steel. I don't know if just the silencer is stainless. <coughs> if you ask me, I thought it was aluminum looking. But uh, I'm not honestly totally sure. But that's the 4 dr in the background. I'll show some more videos of that. Like the channel, you know, uh, I really haven't done much videos. This is really my first time making some videos. Uh, I got this Banshee that I'm restoring. And uh, I got some other things I'm looking to do. I'm going to clean up these pipes. I got a, a graphics kit that I got online. I'll, I'll do a review on that. Uh, got a case saver. Got to clean it up. I uh, probably should have cleaned it before I did the Nerf bars and all that. But, uh, you know, uh, decent looking machine. Came to me with some new tires on it. Could use shocks. But uh, all in all, it's, an, it's a decent machine. But I'll do some videos once I'm done with everything.